morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Sabina? I'm good. Very good. How are you? Hmm. I can't hear you, and I'm just. All right, can you hear me, Sabina? I can hear you. All right, I can hear you now. Okay. <laughs> How are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. Yes. How was your weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite good. Trying to get some gardening done in between all the showers of rain. I was like, when did you do this gardening? It was raining the whole time. <laughs> in between. Okay. Oh, yeah, the sun would come out for five minutes and then the, yeah. and it would be gone and then the rain would come. And then it would yeah. be gone. Morning, Beatrice. Morning, Colin. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Good, thanks. And how was your weekend? It's good. Yeah, yeah, had a good Anzac day. Oh, good. Did you, go to a service? Class, eh? did you go to a service or did you just do your own thing? No, no, I was part of a service. Oh, great, Colin. I went to a um, dawn service. They're always my favourite. Well, I, I missed the dawn service this year. Well, it was it was raining, so it's probably yeah. smart you didn't go. <laughs> I was in a I, coat. I, I didn't march in Brisbane either because it was too wet. Yeah, it was boring and very busy. Which service did you go to? The one at uh, St Augustine's Church, War Memorial Church. Oh, that's nice. Have you been that's, to that one before? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. It's always good to go to one that's a bit familiar. Yes, it's our church. Yeah, that's nice to go to your like local one. Yeah. Yes. We had a at the service that I went to, they had a recording of the bugle and the national anthem. And I, I'm I'm used to someone singing it, so I missed that part, but otherwise mine was really good. <laughs> All right. Good. We will get into our Evo um, Tuesday morning exercise session. So as always, I'm going to start with a bit of education and then from there, we'll go into uh, exercising and moving our bodies. So today's theme is still on our cardiovascular health, our heart uh, health. Um, today, specifically, we're looking at ways to monitor exercise intensity. So how hard you're working and how, um, especially on programs like what we're doing where it's an online class, it's important to know for, uh, it's important for me to understand how hard you guys are working, whether I need to push you a bit harder or whether I need to take the throttle off and make it a bit easier in regards. We're gonna learn how to, I guess, communicate that today. So monitoring intensity is very important when it comes to exercise because it will depend on whether you will uh, reap the positive outcomes discussed in earlier sessions. So all those positive outcomes that we know are true from when you exercise. So there's a thing called RPE, which is just your rate of perceived exertion or your effort. So it's the most accessible tool that we have currently and it's a subjective rating of how much effort you are exerting to perform the exercise. So basically you just, uh, we are, it's often on the scale of either six to 20 or one to 10. So I usually use one to 10 because it's a bit easier to understand. I think everyone has a great understanding of one to 10. You can accurately give yourself a number of how hard you're working. So obviously the lower number indicates the lower intensity. So I always say zero, which is nothing at all. And 10 means, you know, you're absolutely, there's no more you could do. You're about to pass out. So the aerobic exercise, uh, any sort of, um, I guess, walking, jogging, running, any sort of that high intensity exercise must um, at least be a moderate intensity to have a positive effect. So anywhere, I guess, around a four or five out of 10. So we've got a bit of a scale here. I've got moderate intensity is around a four or five out of 10. Vigorous intensity, seven or eight out of 10. And then very vigorous intensity is nine out of 10. Ways to monitor, I guess, if you're in the moderate or vigorous or very vigorous category, we use a system called the talk test. So the talk test can um, measure how hard you're working. 
So if you were working at a light intensity, you'd be able to sing without difficulty. If you're working at a moderate intensity, then that's when you would be able to talk, but you'd be unable to sing. And working at a vigorous intensity, then we're going up that once more, you're unable to say a full sentence without uh, great difficulty. So you're really puffing and really sort of conserving your energy there. We also have, um, uh, so we've gone over, I guess, the RPE, the talk test, and now we can go into the heart rate monitor. So you can have quite often now a lot of people wearing Apple watches, myself included. So I've got a little smartwatch on me, or you can have a mobile device, any chest strap devices, and then measure your heart rate which indicates the rate um, of which your heart is pumping. So an increased heart rate means there's an increased oxygen demand for your body to move. Um, and often we use a percentage of your heart rate max or heart rate peak. So to do that, we calculate your age predicted heart rate max. Depending on your age, it will be different for everyone. The equation, the standard equation is just 220 minus your age. And that should give you your age predicted heart rate max. So if you guys want to, we can do that now. If you have a little calculator, otherwise I have one. And if you want to yell it out, yell out your age, I'm more than happy to calculate that for you. Right. So I'll do mine now. And I do need a calculator because I it's only early morning. So it's 220 minus your age. Mine's 151. And mine's 197 because I'm 23. So that's sort of telling you your heart rate max. And anything above that is sort of getting into that dangerous zone and you shouldn't really be passing that. So what was yours, Sabina? 151. 151, that's great. Do you have a smartwatch or... Oh, good. So we'll a we monitor. Yes, a Fitbit. Yeah. I had one of those. We might monitor your heart rate today. 80, 82 it is at the moment. 82, good. So when we're resting, does anyone know what our, I guess, the normal um, average of heart rate resting would be? Um, around 70. So it's anywhere between 60 and 100 for oh. your resting heart rate. So well within normal limits, Sabina. Mm -hmm. Beatrice and Colin, were you able to work out your heart rate predicted max? Yes, 137. Oh, good. And does that make sense? So that's sort of your age, like age predicted heart rate max. And when you're exercising, it shouldn't really get um, anywhere past that number. Do okay. you guys have any smart watches or Fitbits or anything like that? Yeah, Beatrice has got one. Oh, great, Beatrice. We might monitor yours this session as well. And then Colin, for anyone who doesn't have the heart rate monitors or any of those watches, as I said, we can do the RPE cell, one to 10, and we can do the talk test. All right, so just as a quick little note, heart rate is not an accurate measure of intensity. So if you're on certain medications like beta blockers, they will act to reduce your heart rate. So your heart rate response to exercise may not um, be an accurate indication of your exertion level. So although we will use the sort of the Fitbits and the watches to monitor our heart rate, it's also important that we're doing something else like the RP scale or the talk test and just sort of balance that out. So we've got a few methods and we're not relying on just one. How does that sound, guys? Good. One. All right. So we're going to get started with the mm. exercise component. As I said, we're going to just monitor our heart rate, Beatrice and Sabina and Colin. Uh, if you guys wanna jump up, we'll get started with our warm up Today, you'll just need some dumbbells, a TheraBand, um, just your classic setup. So I'll let you get set. Just get my camera sorted. If it goes up, we'll bring it back down. All right, guys, we're going to get started with our. All right, can we start with our breathing exercise to start with? Big stretch up. 
Big breath in, big breath out. And again, we're gonna do this five times. Big breath in, big breath out. Breathing out. On this one, once you do a big breath in, bending forward, try to touch your toes. Breathing out. All right, standing back up. We're going to do that two more times. Big breath in. And bending forward, breathing out. Letting your body hang here for a second and then standing up, curling back up. Last one, big breath in. And bending forward, letting your body hang nice and loose. All right, curling back up. From here, we're gonna do our uh, thoracic rotation. So arms across your body, keeping our feet still. We're gonna look over our left shoulder, Back to the middle, looking over our right shoulder, back to the middle. When you do this, I want you to think about your breathing. Big breath in through your nose and then out through your mouth. So take your time here. We're going to do this a few more. All right, from there, we're going to go into a thoracic rotation and twist. So twisting over our left shoulder, twisting over our right shoulder. And I'm just letting my arms hang by my side as I twist left and right. Now we're starting to get a bit more movement through our body, trying to wake up our muscles, let them know that we're about to do some exercise. All right, from there, we're going to go on into our arm circles. Arms up, two shoulders, start spinning those small circles. As we do, add a little side step left, side step right, just a small little tap. Good. Can we go backwards with our spinning? So going the other way with your arm circles now. A few more here. Keep going. All right, stopping there. We're going to go into a walk. So on the spot, just walking. So now we're going to go, we're going to our lower body. Starting to wake up our legs. Can we do a little heel tuck forwards? Our hands on hips, tapping one heel left, one heel right. We're just going to keep going for a little bit. Tap. Good, guys. A few more. Count this one. Say. One, two, three. All right, we're going to go into a high knee marching. So try to bring your knees up as high as you can. So if I went on my side, you can see how high I'm going. I'm just going to do this for a few times. Thinking about shifting our weight onto that one leg, going into that single leg balance. Great guys, keep it up. All right. So again, if I turn on my side, you should look like this, going backwards. Good, few more. And again, walking on the spot. All right, having a 
break. So grab your water bottles if you need to, have a quick drink. I'm just going to explain the um, circuit that we're going to go into and then we'll get into the exercise. All right. So while you're grabbing your drink of water, I'm just going to explain the session today. Uh, so how we're going to do it again, remembering we're, today is all about cardiovascular health. So heart health, we're going to be watching our heart rate. We're going to try and get it up today. I know, Colin, you have a pacemaker, so just let us know how your leg's going as well. Okay. All right. All right. Yell out if you need any alterations and I can change the exercises for you. Um, Thank you. So what we're going to be doing today, we're going to do 10 reps um, of each exercise and then we're going to do 30 seconds. So 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 30 seconds on. So I'll tell you the next exercise that so you've got heaps of time. Our first one that we're going to start off with will be a squat with your dumbbells. So if you grab your weights for me, we'll get ready. Now you can do this one as always with the squats. You can do them seated and standing up, or you can do it without the chair. Just holding your weights at your chest, squat down and back up, okay? So I'm going to get the timer ready. We're going to go for 30 seconds here. So in three, two, one, off we go. We're going to do our squats for 30 seconds. And then after this, 30 seconds, we're going to go into some walking on the spot. So we're going to try and keep going. If you need a break, have a break. If you need a drink of water, have a drink of water. 10 seconds, guys. Keep going. Three, two, one. Dumbbells down. And go into some walking on the spot. So while you're walking, we're going to do this for 30 seconds. I'm going to explain the next exercise. Keep walking for me. Our next one will be a bicep curl and a shoulder press. And I'll let you know when we need to grab our weights. Good. Walking on the spot. When we're walking, make sure it's a little fast walk. All right. Three, two, one. Grabbing your dumbbells again. All right, in three, two, one. Off we go, bicep curl to shoulder press. Again, we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. And we're gonna try and keep up this intensity. Great guys, you guys are doing awesome. Few more. Three. Last one. Two. One. Walking on the spot, holding onto your dumbbells. So we're going to keep our weights in our hand because we're going to use it for our next exercise. When we're walking, make sure it's not a slow walk. Pick those feet up, go a little bit faster. Try and keep your heart rate up. Good, a few more guys. Got about five seconds here. Three, two, one. Our next exercise will be our deadlift. So bending down, coming back up. I'm still holding on to my weights. All right, off we go. So I'm just going down to my shins and then back up. Good, past halfway. Keep going guys, a few more. Got about five seconds left. Three, two, one. Dumbbells down and walking on the spot. 
making sure that walk's a fast walk on the spot. All right, we're gonna walk for 30 seconds. Our next exercise will be a wall push-up or a bench push-up. So whichever one you prefer after this. And then that will be our first round done and we'll have a break after our push-ups. Great guys. Three, two, one, finding your wall. We're gonna go straight into our wall push-ups. All right, three, two, one, off we go. 30 seconds. Doing well, guys. We're gonna finish off with some walking after this. A few more seconds. And five. Four, three, two, one. Coming back to the middle, finishing off with the walking on the spot. This is our last one for this round, guys. So fast walking, move those feet. Three, two, one, stopping there guys, grab a drink of water, have a quick breather, and then we're gonna go through to our second round. So it's just a quick break here. All right, Sabina, how's your heart rate? It's 117, it's strong. Gone down to 97 now, but it was 117 when I stopped. 117. Beatrice, how's your heart rate? I actually have no idea how to tell it. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay, Beatrice. How do you feel I, I, on a scale of 1 to 10? What would you give it? Uh, four, 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 five. Four. Four, four, five. Moderate. Great. Colin, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. <laughs> 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 Scale of one to ten, how, what number would you give yourself? Uh, I'd say six. Six out of ten, great. Legs all good? Yep. All right, we're going to get into our second round. Remembering we start with our dumbbells and we go into either our sit to stand or our squats on the air, all right? So I'll get my timer ready. I'm going to do that all again. All right. Three, two, one. One, off we go, start squatting. Remember, if you want a bit of a higher intensity workout, turn up the speed, so go a little bit faster. Good, you guys are doing awesome. We've got 10 seconds. We're gonna hold our weights in our hand and we're gonna go into our walking. Three, two, one, walking on the spot. Nice, fast walking. Keep it up. All right, where are you going? Just back here. Oh. While you're walking, our next exercise after this will be our bicep curl to our shoulder press. We've got about 10 seconds left. Keep walking. Good. Three, two, one, standing on the spot, bicep curl, shoulder press up. Remember, if you want a harder workout, go a little bit faster. Straight after this, we're going back into our walking, holding our weights. Five seconds here. Three, Two, one, walking on the spot. Fast walking, keep it up. While you guys are walking, I'll show you the next exercise. We're doing our deadlift again. So still walking. Go ahead, last 10 seconds, fast walking. 
three, two, one, turning, going into your deadlift. To your shins, stand up. Making sure at the top you squeeze your glutes and you're holding that good posture. Good, halfway. After this, straight into your walking. I reckon we can do two more. And walking on the spot. Fast walking, guys, doing well. Good, keep that pace up. Doing well, guys, keep walking, keep walking. Five seconds, three, two, two. One, put your weights down. We're going to go into our push up. going into our wall push up. All right, off we go. Wall push ups for 30 seconds. This is our last exercise, guys. We're going to go into the walking and then we're done for our second round. So keep it up. Three, two, one. Back to the middle and walking. Fast walking. Finish it off. Doing well, guys. Last a little bit. And three, two, one. Have a rest. Check your heart rate. All right, so you know, how are you going? 108. 108. All right, Beatrice and Colin, out of 10, how hard did you think you were working? Well, it's probably up to seven, six or seven, probably. Great. How it's working. Yes, well, good. Yeah, between six and seven. Great, that's where you want it. Have a quick break. We're going to do one more and then we'll go into our warm down. So, when you're ready, grabbing your weights. All right, we're going to get going. When we're ready, starting with our squats. In three, two, one, let's go. Doing well, guys. See if we can keep up this intensity. This will be our last round for today. After this, we're going to hold our weights and go into our walking. In three, two, one, walking on the spot. Good, keep that fast walking up. While you're walking, our next one will be the bicep curl to the shoulder press. A few more seconds here. Got about 10 seconds left. Fast walking on the spot. Three. Two, one, stopping there, bicep curl up to that shoulder press, back down. Great guys, keep it up. Got about 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, walking on the spot. Fast walking. While you're walking, I'll show you the next exercise. It will be our deadlift, standing up. You got about 15 seconds, so halfway. Fast walking. Three, two, one, going into that deadlift.
Good, holding your weight close to your body. Halfway, keep it up. You guys are doing awesome. This is gonna be our last round, remember. Give it all you got. Three, two, one. Walking on the spot. Fast walking, keep it up. So after this walking, we're gonna put our weights down and go into our wall push-ups. Great, halfway here, keep going. Good, keep that fast walking up. Three, two, one, weights down. Go into your wall, straight into your wall, push-ups, hands up, off you go. After these push-ups, we're gonna finish off with our walking and then we're all done, guys. So, last one, keep going. And three, two, one, back to the walking. Last bit, fast walking to finish up. There you go. This is it, guys, your home stretch. Keep going. All right, final 10 seconds. Don't stop, last little bit. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. Go grab your drink of water. Sabina, how'd you go? 146. 146, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so get them up to your heart rate max, aren't we? Yep. What would you give that out of 10? Uh, five and a half. <laughs> Very good. Did I did it all, yeah. I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not puffed or anything, so. Just that little working, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Beatrice and Colin, what number would you guys give that? Probably a good six and a half. Six and I'm a half, Colin? Proving. Uh, about a seven at that time. Yeah. And would you say that's light, moderate, or vigorous intensity? Using the talk test, this is for everyone now. Using the talk test, did you feel like you could sing, which is light intensity? Did you feel like you could maintain a conversation but couldn't sing, so moderate? Or did you feel like you couldn't talk at all? So how did you guys go? Sabina? Moderate. Moderate? Yeah. Yeah. Moderate. Yes. Moderate. 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 Hey guys. All right. Well, we'll finish off with just a few stretches and then um, I'll let you guys go. So can we do our thoracic rotation? So just on the spot, twisting left, back to the middle, twisting right. Just doing that a few times there. And then you can go into your thoracic twist and rotation. So letting your arms hang by your side. So now we're just bringing the intensity down. Try and catch our breath. Big breath in, big breath out. All right, can we go into some really light walking, just nice and slow here? Just moving our body. And we're gonna add in some shoulder rolls. So just rolling shoulders up, slowly and back. All right, standing on the spot, we're gonna go do our arm stretch. One arm comes up. Holding for a few seconds. Focus on your breathing, guys. Big breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Can we do the other side now? Other side up. All right. I know it's a bit of a tricky strip sometimes. <laughs> All right, again, go to your shoulder rolls. And that's it, guys. We're all done. All right. so if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, see you Thursday for another Evo. Excellent.
Thank you very, very much. much. Yeah. Have a good day. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.